this worksheet contains a data sheet here a data set sorry and here you have a start value and an end value and uh, here you can enter the column you want to use in the formula and here are the search results and I'm looking in column 3 so 1 2 3 and the values here must be larger than larger or equal to 0 or and smaller or equal to 3 and you can see here that the first item the first record here is this and it has value 2 here so and 2 is between 0 and 3 and so is 3 3 and this one and this so they all are between 0 and 3 and if I change the column to number one, the formula looks in this column here. And now the only items that are between zero and three are one, two, and three. The first three here. You can also change the value here to whatever value you want. I'm using 6 and 4. And now the records between 4 and 6 are now down here. So, so how does this formula work? Here it is. Uh, first thing I want to show you is how to extract a single column in a cell range and the column number I want to use is up here and then equal sign index function and the data set or cell range comma and then a comma again and a cell reference to G2 and an ending parenthesis and now press and hold control shift and then press enter to end to create an array formula and now extend it to cells below and now we have the same values as in column 1 in this cell range here and if I change this value here, the values here down, down here change also and now they are extracted from column 2 in this cell range and then 3 and 4. The next thing to do is to build a logical expression. And the cell range I'm going to work with is this, determined by the number in column G2. And I want to use the start value here. And the values here must be larger or equal to the start value so a larger sign and an equal sign and then the cell, a cell reference to d14 and make it absolute so it won't change when i copy the formula and then and create an array formula, control shift and enter. 
And since this is a logical expression, it returns Boolean values. And they are all true. And I'm using the wrong column now. So I'm going to use column 3. And now you can see that the first record is returns false for column 3. And that is because 2 is smaller than 4. And 6 is equal to 6, so it returns true. 4 is equal to 4, so it returns true. And 5 is between 4 and 6, so it also returns true. Sorry, this logical expression only uses the start value, not the end value. So all records that are bigger than or equal to 4 returns true here. And record 2, 3, 4, and 6 is larger than 4, or equal to 4. The next thing to do is to build a logical expression that uses the end value. And I'm going to copy this because it's so similar. And now I want these values here to be smaller than the end value or equal. And the cell reference must point at D15. And then create an array formula, control shift and enter. And expand that to cells below. And now the uh, array returns false for record 6. And that is because only this value here is larger than 6. All the other values here is equal or smaller than 6. Now it's time to combine the logical expressions. And the first logical expression and use a beginning and ending parenthesis and then multiply. And then I'm going to copy the next logical expression here. and paste it here and then ending parenthesis and now it's time to enter it as an array formula and then expand it and now you can see that false is equal to 1 and true is equal to 0 so false multiplied with true, zero multiplied with one is zero. So this means that both logical expressions must return true. Next step is to use a if function and replace the array with the corresponding row numbers. And equal sign, sign, and then beginning parenthesis, and copy this, and this is the logical expression, and the first argument in the if function, and if this is true, I need the corresponding row numbers. And to do that, I'm using the match function and the row function.
ending parenthesis. And if the array returns false, I want nothing. And then an ending parenthesis for the if function. And now enter it as an array formula. And it's now obvious that the logical expressions that return 1 now returns the row number. The small function lets you return the kth smallest value in an array or cell range. And I need to copy a formula and then equal sign small and the formula and then a comma and rows. The second argument lets you specify the kth value. And this makes the formula uh, return a single value in the cell. So the first the smallest value in this array is 2, and the rows function here returns 1. So the small function returns the smallest value in this array here, and it's 2, 2. And the small function ignores blank or, or text values, I believe. And now you can copy this if you click and hold on the, on the dot, and then drag down and two three and four and no more values so it returns an error now it's time to fetch the values from this data set and to do that i'm going to use the index function again equal sign index and the first argument is the data set the cell reference to the data set and make it absolute because we don't want it to move as I copy this formula to cells below the next one in the index function next argument in the index function is the row number and in this case we have the row numbers already here so i just copy the and paste the formula and then we need since this has multiple columns we need to specify we need to enter the column number and i'm going to use the columns function a1, A1, and make the first part of this cell reference absolute. And then an ending parenthesis. Press and hold Control, Shift, and Enter. And then copy this to cells below. And you can now see that it returns 2, 3, and 4. And that is because these values here are the first in column 1 to show up. And the columns here function here returns 1. So the values here are from column 1. And now click and hold and drag this dot to the cells. To these cells and now it's obvious that we may we built the formula so why are these values here not equal to these values here if you remember we entered the column number here and 
this formula here uses this column number. So if I change this to 1, you can see that the values here match the values here. 